In this video, I wanted to go back to Helldivers 2 and take a look at the 6800 XT on the new 24.4.1 Adrenaline Driver. We saw about a 20 to 30% increase in performance on my yesterday's video, looking at the 7900 XTX, which was very nice. And I had a couple people request the 6800 XT and I was also curious. So we're gonna check out 1440p with async compute disabled and all the graphical settings maxed out. We're going to check out the same tutorial area first and then check out a mission as well. Before we do that though, I was made aware that async compute can hurt your performance if you have a higher end CPU and I did have that on on my yesterday's video. So, and I didn't actually know that, <laughs> but I wanted to take a look at it here on the 6800 XT with the 5900X and turning async compute off, you gain about a 5% uh, increase in performance. Not really all that much, but yeah, I would recommend keeping it off. On to my tests then. So what I did was I went through the tutorial again, like on my last video, and the reason is consistency because of the random generated nature of the missions in Helldivers 2. I wanted to do the tutorial head to head. And with the 6800 XT at 1440p, unfortunately the gains weren't really nearly as impressive as they were with the 7900 xtx we essentially had a 10 percent increase in performance on average fps on the new driver and eight percent increase in one percent lows now for a comparison on the 7900 xtx video we've seen around 27 percent increase in averages and 23 percent increase in one percent low so that was a uh, quite a bit more of a gain on that gp so i'm not really sure why that is but these are the numbers that i got in the tutorial section however i ended up also doing one mission that we'll take a look at and see if the differences there are any different let's take a look This is going to be an automaton mission in Manquette, and it's a sabotage supply basis type of mission that I ran essentially the same mission, same planet, same time of day and everything. You guys know the drill by now. And yeah, this was like a 10, 15 minute long mission. And for the numbers, it was essentially very comparable to the tutorial area. I had exactly 9% average lead on the new driver and 9% for the 1% lows on the new driver. So there's definitely an improvement. However, it appears to be smaller than we saw on the 7900 XDX. Now the thought did go through my mind that, well, is there a chance that I could be CPU limited here? Even though it kind of doesn't make sense because the 5900X is still a very powerful CPU. And I, I essentially ended up dropping from 1440p native to like ultra quality and then quality and my FPS went higher and higher as I was dropping in render scale. So that tells me that the CPU is not a problem. It's definitely capable of delivering much more. We are GPU bound. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think and if your results are any different than mine. But uh, I don't know if anything stands out to you that you think could be the reason why I'm not seeing as big of a gap as I did on my 7900 XTX. Leave it on the comments section below and I'll take a look at it. But uh, yeah, this is the numbers that I got playing the game and essentially running a very similar test to what I did with the 7900 XTX on yesterday's video. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this and share your thoughts down below. Hope you have a good one and I'll see you next time.